Curious George discovers plants. Adaptation by Monica Perez, based on the TV series teleplay written by Joe Fallon. Are you ready? Here we go. Have you ever wondered where the fruits and vegetables in your grocery store come from? Most of them grow on farms far away and come by truck, train, boat, or plane. Are you curious about how vegetables and other plants grow? George is curious too. <laughs> they don't call him Curious George for nothing. He's a very curious chimpanzee. Yes, I know people call him a monkey, but since he doesn't have a tail, he is an ape. In fact, he is a chimpanzee. Anyway, George was enjoying market day. He liked the fresh vegetable section with its cucumbers, artichokes, beets, spinach, carrots, and onions, to name just a few. George wasn't sure where vegetables came from, but he sure loved to eat them. They had as many different tastes as shapes and colors. I was thinking about cooking vegetable soup tonight, George, said his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Oh, yeah. Hi, Ted. But then I started to think of Chef Paschetti's famous fresh vegetable soup and his spinach ravioli. Maybe we should go to his restaurant, the man asked. What do you think? Yum, thought George. At Chef Piscati's restaurant, they sat at their favorite table and placed their order with Nettie, the chef's wife. We'd both like fresh vegetable soup with extra carrots and spinach ravioli, the man ordered. Wait, Chef Piscati cried as he emerged from the kitchen. I am out of fresh veggies. We have finished the carrots and spinach. George was worried. What would they have for dinner? Why don't you pick some more vegetables? Nettie said. Would you like to come with me to pick the vegetables, Giorgio? The chef asked. George nodded and followed him. We're going up to the roof, the chef announced. George was confused. Didn't the vegetables come from a market? Some veggies grow on farms far away, then travel to a store where they sit around until you buy until you buy them, Chef explained. But my veggies grow here. The chef proudly waved his arms at all the boxes filled with dirt. I pick them, I take them down to my kitchen, and they go into your belly all on the same day. That's Piscetti Fresh. George was still confused. Where were the fresh vegetables? <clears throat> George watched in amazement as Chef Piscetti grabbed a sprig of green and pulled a carrot out of the dirt. What's this? Chef, P Chef Piscetti pulled another green sprig out of the dirt. <gasps> a weed! Weeds are bad. They soak up the water and nutrients from the soil that my veggies need to grow, the chef explained. If I don't have fresh veggies to cook, I may have to close my restaurant. George wouldn't want that to happen. But I don't have time to pull the weeds out after working all day, Chef Piscetti added. Oh yeah, weeds are bad. George thought he could help Chef Piscetti. The next morning, he took some gardening tools from the chef's roof and began digging up the weeds. He dug up every green thing he saw. He packed all those leafy greens into three trash bags and threw the bags away. I don't think that was a good idea, George. Later that day, the chef was not happy. Oh, no! Chef Piscetti exclaimed. The weeds are gone, but all of my veggies are gone too. 
George felt bad. He realized that he didn't know how to tell the difference between a weed and a vegetable. I will have to plant all new vegetables, the chef announced. The chef showed George tiny seeds that would grow into carrots. He dug small holes in the ground with his trowel. He placed a seed into the hole and replaced the dirt. I'll water and fertilize the seeds regularly. The chef saw George's puzzled look. Fertilize means to feed. We will have new vegetables in two to three months, chef said. I won't have fresh veggies to use for cooking until then. George was curious. Why did it take so long? Maybe it didn't have to. Maybe a little monkey could come to the rescue. Ape. George ran home and took all the carrots he could find from the refrigerator. What are you up to, George? He went back to the roof garden and began to dig a hole where the carrot seeds had been planted. George carefully placed one fully grown carrot in each hole that he dug. It took a long time, but finally George finished putting all the carrots he had brought from home in the ground. He put the tools back where he found them. Oh, I see. The next morning, Chef Pischetti found a big surprise. My carrots grew this big overnight. It's amazing, the chef called out. George arrived later in the day. Chef Pischetti was still, we was still talking about the carrots. The chef scratched his head. I wonder why the eggplants and squash didn't grow. Oops, George had forgotten all about them. Tonight, I will plant peas. Chef Pischetti said. I hope it works again. He was so excited that he asked Dr. Wiseman, his scientist friend, to come and study the amazing dirt in his garden. At home, the man with the yellow hat discovered that all the vegetables in the kitchen were missing. George, he called, do you know what happened to all our veggies? George nodded. He led his friend out of the house and over to Chef Pischetti's. Then the man with the yellow hat finally understood, understood what George had done. Well, it looks like George has been your amazing gardener, the man explained. He, he said, all our vegetables have been going into your dirt. Dr. Wiseman was glad that the mystery was solved. Everyone was happy. You can cook our vegetables any day, said the man with the yellow hat. Everyone helped pick the vegetables, and Chef Pischetti invited all his friends to stay for, del for a delicious lunch of vegetable soup. George's plan was a success after all. <laughs> the end. What's your favorite vegetable? Let me know in the comments below. My favorite vegetable is spinach. See you later. Bye.